Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks for tuning in. Saturday was absolutely bizarre, the summer series. Um, it's kind of the craziest race I've ever been a part of in a final. Um, the format's completely different and wow, how lucky I got was un insane. Everyone unfortunately had a crash or an engine problem and I rolled around at the back of the track and finished third. So. I mean, pretty exciting to get a national podium. Um, obviously, I'd really love to earn it legit and all the rest of that, but it's not as great as an AKC and I can take full responsibility for that, or not take full responsibility, but understand that I got lucky and I'll have to work extra harder to get it at a bigger national meeting, so. But yeah, um, so I'll play some of the clips from Saturday that I got from the podium. But Sunday, yeah, not as lucky. Um, it was such a good event, bit of fun. Everything was a bit reverse grid. You can see um, I didn't have the greatest of starts. Um, big thanks to Oscar Target for all of his tips and helping me try, improve myself and my driving tips. Um, unfortunately, my engine builder, JT, wasn't there to help me tune the car, so it was a guessing game with some friends and I just didn't feel, for the start, it was good. I don't know, you'll see. Um, I will take responsibility, like, I st I'm still learning a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just keen to work on my driving and get better for next year, ready to hit the Nationals hard. So, I hope you guys enjoy the Sunday clips. Um, my partner turned up and started filming for me since she couldn't make Saturday. So, let's get to the videos. So this is me rolling out for the sprint race feature on Saturday. Um, res reverse grid pole, no, not pole. It was reverse grid from third. So yeah, absolutely woeful start. Um, the engine didn't love it, but another big thing coming from my bad driving is that. Um, as you can probably see, I just don't have any grip. I let him go down the inside. It's not the best racing, but yeah, you'll see through the clips. I just I'm just sliding. It doesn't matter what I do. I burnt off my tyres early, and yeah, it come from pretty poor driving. So you can you'll see it throughout the, this race that. I'm just sliding the rear around and yeah, from boarding off my tyres it probably just didn't help the cause but the field are too good and just walk away from me and I ended up just doing some practice laps in this one. Where you left it, you should be able to find it then, isn't that right, Caitlin? 
Yes. Yes. It's going to be that fucking all the time. Again, right? <laughs> Mate, they are so thin. I'm fucking worn them out there. I reckon a part of it was the tyre. Sprint race two. I um from the clips you can see that I've put on fresh tyres um, from the advice of Oscar. Um, just what got some tips to work on my driving but as you can see the start of the race here just trying to clear her out yeah it just um it just doesn't hold the revs quite like I want it to um, I'm unsure why but it is what it is I mean, I, I do say I'm unsure why, but John's away and I really rely on John for getting that tune perfect. And thanks to Oscar, you gave me so many tips on my starts. Um, unfortunately, I never could execute them, but yeah, it doesn't matter what I try. But got the new boots on this race. You can see I'm chasing um, Jordy up ahead, one of my mates. And yeah, just overdriving it again, but Just trying to keep in tow of the pack. Yeah, if I am um, just starting to focus on um, really smooth laps and just keeping my hands really smooth on the inputs is the big thing and just driving the cart straight. My pace is just right there, like, see, so close up under brakes there little mistake but my pace was definitely good enough in this one um yeah as you can see i'm just right in tow with the pack of course they had older tires and i was the only one on new tires but it was just good to to be amongst it in this one um i just wish i could nail a start and not follow them in on um, Troy there at 17 and just made an assertive move they unfortunately made contact but this meant that I had a multiple Australian time champion on the back of me now <laughs> which is no pressure of course so I just focused on trying to get some good pace going which 
I always look back over my shoulder, it's a bad habit, but I could notice I was keeping well. Um, the 27 just made a small mistake there, so it just gave me another motivation to keep going forward. closing in on the 27 here but they're just getting a straight line and just walk away I mean I'm just gonna have to hit the gym a <laughs> uh, little bit overweight but he makes a slight mistake here and I have a cheeky look but just obviously just too far back mistake there just leads to a dive bomb from Troy which yeah as you can see I, I just caught, brought it in I was well out of the race with one, one lap to go and just yeah moved on to the next one I really haven't worked out my starting issues um, tried the tips from Oscar I went back to him after every race for a, a bit of a review and, and help and as I said my biggest thing is having JT there and I just yeah just didn't get that tune properly so the field all had new boots on and I just wanted to focus on punching out laps um, they all walked away they were all such good drivers and fortunately the 37 up here just had a bit of a small mistake for me to kind of have a bit of a chase um, and just yeah focus on my laps so I'll show you guys a good couple of clean laps to finish. Um, he walked away from me, but yeah, something to look forward to, I guess. strong finish to I think it was about 18 laps that final um, it was probably the best I've ever felt after 18 laps and usually I'm rooted but I spent a bit of time in the gym and just yeah worked on a bit of fitness so that was a positive for the weekend um, yeah thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video um, I'm hoping to bust out a bit more content especially with that raw camera footage and chopping and changing with my partner. Um, a big thanks to Oscar for all the tips over the weekend. He really didn't have to help me, but he's just such a nice guy. And yeah, I can't thank him enough 
and thanks to that my partner for supporting me and that there yeah, just for doing the weekends. Um, I was unsure about racing this one, but I'm glad I did. I learned a heat, as you can probably see. I really, really oversteer with my hands. Um, something to learn to be a bit softer and smoother, and the art occasion is just it's a different planet. Um, always learn something new every time I'm in the car, so looking forward to putting in some work over the summer and hitting AKC hard next year. And yeah, um, if you like these videos, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, the more support you show, the more I do.